Lord Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua Messiah, we thank you, Father Yahweh, for blessing us to be in your house tonight. We truly don't deserve to be here, not one of us. 
For there is none righteous, no, not one, without you, Yahweh, without your help, without your saving yes. grace, and without your plan of salvation. Yes, Father. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for the apostles, prophets, yes, evangelists, Father. and pa pastors and teachers yes, that you Father. have for us in these last and evil days. We ask that you continue to let the word go forth, and we, yes. may we continue to follow your Holy Spirit into all truth. Yes. We give you thanks and praise, Father Yahweh. Just open up our hearts and our minds tonight so that we can hear the gospel truth, receive it in our hearts, and be made perfect day unto day. We give you thanks and praise, Yahweh. Protect us from evil. Lead us and guide us in the right path. In Yeshua's name, we give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you get my uh, Bible Amen. for me? Amen. Amen. Uh, let's just say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of Yahweh. Amen. You can all be seated. Hallelujah. Should be right. 3105. <laughs> Amen. Uh-huh. 08, 3105-08. There it is. If anybody wants to get my briefcase, that's how you do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is Yahweh good tonight? Truly, we thank Yahweh for another opportunity. Yes, Yahweh. Yahweh is so good to us. Yes, he is. <clears throat> we don't deserve this chance. Amen. If y'all want to bring that to me, I might be able to help you out. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, friend. Amen. Hopefully, everybody is encouraged today. Yes, Yahweh. Y'all like this? Hallelujah. Oh, see, y'all, I see where you went wrong, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thanks for trying. Amen. Da, 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 da. I'm almost there, y'all. Amen. Y'all keep on giving Yahweh the praise. Amen. Is everybody encouraged today? Something is feeding back. You're going to have to turn it down. It might be that my mic over there because it was way too loud. <clears throat> Thank you. Is everybody all right tonight? Amen. Amen. Thrown off by the briefcase? Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. So if you've been praying, seeking Yahweh's face, he always hears your prayers throughout the day. I mean... We go through so many things. We know that sometimes you may run across some shady folks and people that you thought you could trust, find out you can't trust. We live in a world full of backstabbers, backbiters, uh -huh, busy bodies. People, even sometimes in the Bible, you read about Judas Iscariot. It can be so bad that you never know when they'll pop up in your life. But one thing we know for sure, Yahweh is not going to do you that way. Yahshua is not going to do you that way. Amen? Amen. He's always going to leave himself with a witness in the land. And I'm so thankful that Yahweh brought me to the church at the age of 20. Pulled me out of those, that miry clay. Set my feet on the right way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. It's good to see you reading, young brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and start in Psalm 119, verse 25. Amen. I don't know about you, but I, you know, Hallelujah. we've been doing this thing for a while. I'm looking at Mother Kathy, my wife, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sister Kamiko, uh -huh. Sister Rachel. Yes. Hallelujah. Sister April. Uh -huh. Amen. Even you, Brother DJ. <clears throat> We've been doing this thing for a while. So we're duty bound to keep on serving the Lord no matter what we got to go through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Apostle Washington told me a long time ago, if you got to go through really hard trials, it's because you always got something really great in store for you later. Amen. He's preparing you for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Amen. Risa, been here for a while. Been here longer than me. Amen. And yet, but there have been many that have gone. Yes. They've yes. come and gone Hallelujah. over the years. Uh -huh. Well, yes, 
the one thing that they did not do. Now, and if you're struggling tonight, you know, there may be people watching Facebook too. Amen. If you're struggling tonight <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the devil really got you tied up, he's really twisting you up. He knows Amen. if he can keep tying you up in knots, there ain't going to be nothing left to you. Amen. One big old tangled up knot. Hallelujah. 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 You know that's the devil's job. That's right. Steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, we can't stop the devil from coming after us because it's given to him to make war yes. with the saints. Hallelujah. We don't have to feel bad when the devil is allowed to talk to us in our minds Amen. because he's, he was allowed to do that with Yahshua yes. on all points just like us. Amen. Amen. That Hallelujah. means he didn't have any shortcuts. He didn't have it easy because yes. he was God-made man. No, he had to go through exactly what we have gone through. Amen. In a short life of 30 something years, he he went through enough to say, I've been through all y'all been through. And now the devil, he messed with me, too. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, young Hezekiah. Appreciate you. The devil has messed with me, too. But but I always did those things that please my father. That didn't mean that the devil didn't. Uh. Mess with Yeshua all the time. That's right. You know, just like he does with you. That's right. Devil wants to make you feel bad because the devil talked to you today Uh and you heard his voice. Yes, Lord. That's your job, Satan. Yahweh's letting you talk to me. Uh I'm not going to let you make me defeated just because you talk to me. Uh Amen. 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 What matters is whether you do what the devil's telling you to do. Hallelujah. If you say what Satan is telling you to say. If you, if you run when the devil says run, uh-huh. if the devil tells you to stand your ground, just you stand your ground. If you're doing the things that please Satan, uh-huh. then yes, you need to feel bad about that. Amen. You got to make a change Hallelujah. in your life. Yes, Yahweh. <clears throat> Amen. Let's see what Psalm 119 verse 25 says. Psalms, Psalms 119 and 25. Yes, brother. For it is written. What does it say? My soul cleaveth unto the dust. My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Go. Quicken thou me according to thy word. You know, I mean, we're just made out of dust. Amen. Hallelujah. This old body. Yes, Lord. But Yahweh somehow was able to create something that has the possibility of being eternal. Amen. Out of dust he made man. Breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and he became a living what? Soul. He became a living soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe in Hebrew, the word soul, it means like your throat. Because that's like the connection. That's like where it's all at. It's where your voice comes from. It's, 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 it's holding everything together. It's your soul. Amen. Amen. In, in Hebrew, they say words like breath. But that's what they mean by spirit. Amen. So they use natural terms and then they bring it into a spiritual connotation. Amen. 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 And, and I'm thankful that Yahweh was able to breathe life into that thing he made out of the dust and create all of us from that one man and that one woman, giving us all a chance to exist just like he exists. Yahweh, the eternal one, he who is, he exists, he makes become, he creates. Yahweh, our father, now we exist. Now we're right here. We got We're made in His image. That means that means He made a vessel for Him to put His Spirit in, and we have all the capability to do everything just like our Father Yahweh. Amen. We we we're not we're not we're not so low that we have to obey that old devil. That's right. He didn't create us. We don't, we don't want to emulate him. We don't want to be like him. No. We don't want to be quitters. Amen. Giving up all the time about every little problem you have in your life. Amen. Making excuses. Instead of standing up, taking the high road. Yes, you know, Lord. the high road of holiness or maybe the low road of humility. You know, those roads are both good. Yes. I'm talking about taking the right road or the wrong road. Yes. Amen. You got to take the right road in your life, Esaias. You got how old are you, sir? 14. 14. And I also saw that Brother Christopher turned 14. Yes. Amen. I'm like, wow, I've been here this whole time while these beautiful people uh, came into existence. And I'm just watching them grow up right in front of me. Yes, Lord. 
But they have a chance. They're at a crossroads. They're going to have to decide what they're going to do. You know, we all got stuff we go through. Amen. We could have decided to give up a long time ago. Amen. But we didn't decide to give up. We decided to make our stay right here. We decided to take on wives in Yahweh in here, us brothers. You know, you could have ran off, could have been a devil, committed fornication, maybe never got married, you know. But you decided to uh, plant your roots, stay in church. Everyone born and raised in the faith has to make that choice. Some people run off, but some people make the right choice. They need to realize my soul cleaves to the dust. You know, I'm gonna this body I'm in is gonna die someday. It's gonna go back to the dust. Yes, Amen. Amen. And and if you can have that one thing in mind, then it'll help you realize that you shouldn't just go off and live your life just to have a bunch of fun. Amen. Your whole life can't be based off of is it fun? Is it is it fun enough for me? Amen. And it has to be based off is it right to do? Is it what pleases Yahweh? You know, he's got challenges. You know, this is a this is a race. Amen. This is a, um, you know, a very serious game yes, Lord. That, that, that Yahweh has put us in this life. Yes, Yahweh. And, and you either win or you lose. Hallelujah. And you have to make the right choices. Amen. You have to humble yourself and ask Yahweh for his help. Yes, Lord. He'll always help you and you will win. Amen. 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 You'll end up being the victor. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Read on. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me, and teach me my my statutes. Do me a favor and reread the first verse for me. My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Yes. Quicken thou me according to thy word. So, it's like the world we're, we're created in. Amen. Connected to this sinful flesh that's fallen. Yes, Lord. It's always right there. Amen. You come to church, you hear the word, you're like, I'm going to do this thing for the rest of my life. Wake up next morning. Not so much. You don't feel that way so much the next morning. Why? Because, you know, you got to sleep. The devil can even mess with you in your dreams. Your flesh messes with you in your dreams. You wake up in the morning and your flesh has been thinking about you serving the Lord for the rest of your life the whole night. And it wakes up trying to concoct a plan to get you out of it. The flesh cannot be subject to this thing. That's right. To holiness, it is just isn't. The flesh is not subject to the spirit that, that is, is uh, leading us and guiding us. Amen. 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 So quicken, you have to ask Yahweh. You have to tell him, quicken thou me according to thy word. That's why we're here tonight. Hallelujah. We're here to hear his word, aren't Hallelujah. we? And we're in his word. Hallelujah. It's important that you get in the word at the house. Yes. I'm in the word. Yes, yes. I read the word. Hallelujah. It's my delight. Amen. There's a lot of things in my life that have let me down. Right? The rock and roll, the, the, the drug addiction, you know, uh, just sinners that acted like they loved you, but they did it. Amen. They didn't really know what love was. So you don't hate people because they didn't do you right. You got to learn how to stop being a victim. You got to learn how to start moving forward. And stop blaming your parents for everything. Stop blaming the USA for everything. Stop blaming uh, <clears throat> just your teacher. Yes, yes. Right? Amen. Stop being a victim. You're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Stop blaming your boss on your job. Yes. Stop blaming your co-workers. Yes. They're out to get me, I tell you. Maybe they are. But he who is in you is greater Amen. than he that is in the world. Right? Amen. So it don't matter if they're out to get you because Yahweh will lift up a standard against yes, all that. Yeah, Yahweh will put up that protection and he will take care of you. Amen. Even if people decide they hate you and they either want to kill you. Sometimes it gets so bad they want to kill you. Uh-huh. Right? Yes, Sometimes Lord. maybe they just hate you and maybe they just want to get you fired. or Maybe they just want to mess you up. Maybe they just want to make you look bad. Amen. Just like to tell lies about you for some reason. Something that you're doing makes them feel bad about themselves. So they've put taken out a personal vendetta against you. Amen. 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 Maybe you told them, I don't celebrate Christmas, right? Uh And and like you just got that job. Brother Luke had to lift up a standard. I don't celebrate Christmas. I was like, that's my brother-in-law. You know, he he lifted up a standard. His brother may be shy, but he ain't that shy. 
He's going to lift up a standard and say, I don't do Christmas. And I told him, I said, if they offer you a bonus, you say, I can take it as long as long as we both have the understanding that this is from my hard work, not because it's Christmas. That's right. Amen. Yeah, if they want to give you $500, I would seriously figure out how to word it where you might get that $500, but still lift up holiness. That's right. Right? Because that the company does it, gives it for everybody because it should be for your hard work. Not because not because of candy canes and Christmas trees and Jack Frost and all that. So they'll get over it. You can't be afraid. That's right. Can't be afraid like Abraham when they had to go down into Egypt. Amen. He knew his he knew Sarah was a good looking woman, right? He said he's fair to look upon. And so he was like, these Egyptians are going to murder me and take my wife. That was fear. I mean, I guess he, we say we know Yahweh's a mighty God, right? And when Yahweh manifested himself to Abraham, he didn't manifest himself as Yahweh. He manifested himself as El Shaddai, which we know is God Almighty. That's who he said he was. Amen. Amen. Well, then perhaps he should have acted like God was almighty. Amen. But, you know, but but you can even call him by God almighty and then walk around and get scared. Yes. About what you go through. Amen. I've been there. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, you, you don't want to you don't want to say. You don't want to say, all right, let's just go on down to Egypt. Yahweh will, uh, El Shaddai will protect me. Right? Amen. That's how we got to live our lives every single day. Yes. Amen. You go to school saying, I'm going to tell people praise Yahweh. They're going to say, what? You know they're going to. Yes. It's an opportunity for you to say what Yahweh is. That's you know, right. who Yahweh is. Hallelujah. What, what your belief is all about. Amen. It's either that or pretend like you don't go to church here. Is either one or the other. Oh, yeah. Amen. So true. Laughing and cutting up with everybody else in the class because they don't really know that you're a, a, a church kid at all. Amen. They don't know. They would have never, they never knew that that's what you were. Amen. Right? Amen. Some of us, you know, I wasn't in school whenever I came here, but I am on the job. Uh-huh. Everybody on my job knows I serve Yahweh. Yes. Uh, and I strive and I, and I don't, I don't just sit around and talk myself up either. I think it's a very dangerous thing to sit around and just talk yourself up. Amen. Always consider the possibility you need to do even better in areas. Hallelujah. You understand? Amen. So even though people may know I serve Yahweh, this and that, I'm always thinking I need to be better. Need to be better. Amen. And I'm, so I'll make myself bring up Yahweh. Yes. Lord. You know, or, or maybe I won't play around as much yes. or this or that or the other. Yes. But it's important that we realize the God we serve. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does it say? My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Yeah. Quicken thou me according to thy word. Quicken me according to thy word. I have declared my ways. Yeah. Not according to my word, according to thy word. My word isn't going to get me anywhere. I need that word from heaven to straighten me out all the time. I need Yahweh's word according to your word. And and because he said he would do it. So that's his word right there. Do y'all understand that? Yahweh said he would protect you. Yahweh said he would uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. According to his word, you're saying, Yahweh, go ahead and do what you said you would do. According to your word, in your word. But if you don't ever read it, you don't even know what he said he would do for you. So you're walking around worried all the time. Yahweh is my defender. He's my protector. I shall not Fear any man. What man will do to me? Nothing. Nada. When I have fear, I tell myself, quit having this fear. Because I'm human just like everybody else. Sometimes fear hits me and I have to talk to myself. I say, but, but, but according to Yahweh, I don't need to fear. Not anything. Not, I don't like the airplane. I'm like a Apostle Washington. I don't really care for the airplane. But I'm getting on it. And when I'm up there, I may be uncomfortable. I don't like the shaking around. I'm, I'm Mother Karen. I'm sorry. If you're about to get on a plane. Are you about to get on a plane? Soon. It don't, it don't bother me. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I like looking out the 
Me too. And see, that's a blessing. I like that. I don't like the feeling in my ears. And then every now and then when you're up there, you're like, man is not meant to be this high in the sky. It hits me. I'm like, I'm in a tube of metal with wings flying tens of thousands of feet above the earth. Anything goes wrong with this thing, chances are high, it's over. And that's just facts. But it's good that she's not afraid. It's not her area of fear. It's them little chihuahuas. <laughs> hey, that thing, I've had a little dog bite me right on the backside one time. I don't like animals either. I don't too much care for them. But I'm always striving to get rid of my fears. Amen. Because if you don't fight to get rid of your fears, you're always explaining, defending, and justifying your fears, and they will cripple your life. Amen. You'll find yourself not even doing Yahweh's will. Amen. Yahweh wants you to go somewhere, but you're thinking of all the things you're afraid of on the path there. Amen. That's true. And you might not even go. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to get rid of all your fears. Yes, Amen. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways. I have declared my ways. And thou heardest me. So whenever you talk, Yahweh listens. Even if there's something wrong with you, you better at least talk to Yahweh about it and and come to him. He says, he says, come to me and let's talk this thing out. Even if your sins are red as scarlet, I can make them white as snow. Amen. So when you stop talking to Yahweh about your problem and you stop talking to Yahweh about wanting to be right and wanting to do right, that's when you're in some big trouble. Hallelujah. I decided to start reevaluating the way I look at everything. But there's some core things I'm keeping. I'm not going to do wrong. I'm going to do right. I said, but as far as me troubling my own self with my own thoughts, my own worries, my own cares, my own concerns, those can all hit the road. Because that's not helping me become a better person. That's just wasting the time that, that Yahweh gave me on this earth, worrying. That's just wasting the energy that Yahweh gave me to expend on doing right, not doing wrong. That goes back to what I was saying about that old devil being allowed to talk to you. He can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Don't you know that one form of saying, get thee hence Satan, is ignoring him? It's a form of rebuke. The devil can talk to you and say, you should go over here. You should give that person a piece of your mind. And you should say, I quit. And you don't say, get behind me, Satan. But instead, you just don't do what he says. I mean, there's a time to say, get thee behind me, Satan, in your mind. Sometimes there's a time to say, get thee behind me, Satan, out loud. But then there's a time just plum ignore Satan. Yeah, just, yeah, you rebuke him, uh, resist him. Don't do what he says. And but what, what does the Bible say? If you resist him, what will he do? He'll end up fleeing. And that's a good feeling. Whenever the devil been messing with you about something. And then all of a sudden. And then you just feel bad. You don't like devil talking to you. Because he's trying to put two spirits inside of you. And there are. There's two that war in your members. But it's like catering to your flesh. And and, and then whenever you don't do what he says. And you don't do what he says. And you just don't do what he says. And then all of a sudden he just flees. You're like. Oh. That's a good feeling. Amen. That's a feeling worth fighting for. Hallelujah. When you resist that devil and he flees from you. Amen. But are you resisting him? Hallelujah. Are you in the word? Hallelujah. Are you even talking to Yahweh about your ways? Hallelujah. About how you want to be right? How you're striving to do right? I'm doing this, Yahweh. I'm doing that, Yahweh. Yahweh, you know all things. 
You know if maybe I need to change this. Should I change this? I'm declaring to you my way. I'm submitting to you my ways, Father Yahweh. These are my ways. You already know them. But me, I'm talking to you about them so at least I can, you know, focus on them. and Maybe make some changes. and Or keep doing what I'm doing if you're pleased with me, Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Read on. I have declared my ways. Uh-huh. And thou heardest me. Uh-huh. Teach me thy statutes. Yeah, Yahweh's going to teach you. Amen. You keep declaring your ways to Yahweh and you keep communing with him about what you are, where your heart is, what you want, what your heart's desire is. Sometimes Yahweh will say, you're worried about the wrong thing. Quit worrying about this. You're wearing yourself ragged. They, Well, I want to do this, but they don't want to help me. Now, uh, Yahweh says, well, if, if you're not getting it done, must not be time for that. Maybe you don't need to worry about that. Why don't you put your focus over here where your energy will be better expended? You know, instead of beating yourself up and tearing yourself up about stuff, Amen. you got a husband who won't line up and it just bothers you. You got a wife that won't line up. You got parents or kids that won't line up. Uh-huh. What should you do? Let it tear you up? No, you should commune with Yahweh, declare your ways to him, and then he will teach you the right path. Amen. He will show you what to think about. He will show you how to feel about the situation. I go to Yahweh all the time talk, uh, uh, because to me, I've developed this relationship with him that I know he knows everything about me. Amen. I know he feels everything I'm feeling. Amen. I don't even have to verbally tell him what I'm going through. He was there the whole time. Amen. So I'm always submitting myself to saying, I'm saying, Yahweh, this is what it is. Yes. <laughs> I'm speaking shorthand to the Lord. I'm not wasting my time with a bunch of words. I'm like, Yahweh, you know exactly what I'm going through. Amen. Oh, I might give myself an aneurysm trying to verbalize all this. It's getting tough sometimes. Amen. Like, I'm like, here it is. I'm yours, Yahweh. I'm fully trusting that you're going to fix this. I'm fully trusting you're going to lead me and guide me in the way I should go. You're fully tr- I'm fully trusting you're going to give me the right words. You're going to teach me what to say, when to say it, how to say it. You're going to teach me what to do. And I tell you, like I said, I ain't worried about all that other stuff anymore, Yahweh. I'm just not going to do wrong. I'm only going to do right. And that's that. Talk all you want, Satan. That's what you got to tell him. Talk all you want. Try to get me in worldly clothes. Try to make me watch worldly movies. Try to Try to change my speech. No, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to do right. I'm going to I'm going to resist the devil. I'm not going to listen to what he has to say cuz you are teaching me of your statutes. I'm acknowledging that you are teaching me in this place. Hallelujah. That's what we get in here, saints. We get the truth in here. Hallelujah. I thank Yahweh for brother Willie's message that he preached. <laughs> One thing about brother Willie is he's not he's not worried about looking bad in front of y'all cuz he ain't studying y'all. He's he's worried about Yahweh. He'll he'll he's it was even acknowledging what he thought to be physical flaws in himself. I do the same thing. I'll be the first to tell you. I said I hate my own voice, y'all. So believe me, if you don't like it either, I'm not shocked. But that's okay. He was talking about his body, how trying to cover up his body because he's very body conscious. But that ain't stopped him from preaching. Amen. That didn't stop him from singing. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's 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 been through enough. Yeah. He, the, the, the Lord spoke to him and said, My grace is about to run out on you. Amen. So that's that was enough for him to say, forget my paintball, forget my weed, Amen. uh, forget me uh not liking how I look, Amen. forget in, anything that's gonna hold me back. Amen. 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 Anything that may hold me back. All of y'all, they got way too much pride. Think y'all's God's gift to whatever. You're not that great. But I tell you what you are. You're great enough to serve Yahweh. Because Yahweh made you more than a conqueror. And you, as you grow up, you'll make some mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. I hope you don't. But <laughs> if you keep leaning to your thoughts and your ways. You're going to make some mistakes that you can't undo. You're just going to have to live with the mistakes that you made. Where you you let yourself get too worldly. I've been there. 
Since I've been in church, I've let myself slip over to, and, and develop some worldly talk, some worldly uh, act. Amen. Some worldly, you know, borderline this, borderline that. Amen. Because you get excited about serving Yahweh at first. And then it gets boring. Amen. You get tired of it. Then you start, your mind starts, you lose your first love and you leave it. You start, you start getting, you dabble, you dabble. You dabble in this, you dabble in that. Yahweh says, I can't let them do all of this without their life getting messed up. Let, let, me, let me just, okay, fine. You don't want to do it the way I said? Okay, Burger King, have it your way. And then you mess up your life. Sometimes people leave you. You have to worry about whether they're going to come back or not. Amen. Uh, you, you, you just like people don't trust you. You have to worry about whether they trust you anymore or ever will. Amen. People don't respect you. Amen. You have, and then you have to fight every day about will they ever respect me? Amen. All because of what we have done. Amen. I've done my fair share of it, saints. Amen. And that has has causes me to have some some pity, you know, Amen. to where I I don't I don't look down. On anybody for anything, yes, and but you don't have to fail just to to be right, Amen. <laughs> you know. But but it, it's true. Yes. It's true though. You know. Sometimes if you think you're all that, uh-huh. you walk with a lot of pride. Amen. But then when you have that fall, that pride going before destruction, that haughty spirit Amen. before a fall. Right. Amen. Amen. Y'all, by the grace of God, if you even get to get up from that fall, right. hopefully. <laughs> You got your mind on better. Amen. 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 What does it say? Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. Yes. So I shall take of thy wondrous works. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. Lord, I don't just want to be talking off my head. I actually want to understand the way of the holiness. I, I'm not want to be faking it. I'm, I don't want to fake anything. I want to be for real. Amen. Really doing this thing for real. You know? husbands treating their wives the way they're supposed to, wives treating their husbands exactly the way they're supposed to. If you don't pray fast and concentrate and meditate, what's going to happen is you're not going to be doing it the right way. You'll spend all your time making excuses for why the way you did it was okay. Amen. 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 Read on. My soul melteth for heaviness. Uh huh. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. My soul. So melted, melted for what heaviness. heaviness that means serving Yahweh gets yes. heavy sometimes. Amen. I mean, you got we saints got things going on that nobody else on the planet has going on. Now, now you got false churches and, and I've met some people in false churches that have some truth and they have some virtue, which comes from Yahweh. You know, we don't get to take credit for goodness and virtue. It came from Yahweh. If anybody on the planet is doing anything good and it looks good, all glory to God. You know, and you don't want to just be doing one good thing. You want to be doing everything good and right. You at least want to be on the path where Yahweh is leading you and guiding you to better, better and being better and better. Right. Amen. So us here in church, we go through things and it's heavy. It's heavy because everything we do matters. Amen. Right? Amen. You, from, from, from sun up to sundown, every single thing you do matters. Amen. Your whole entire life. You can't get out the spirit and talk ugly to people and then get back in the spirit and say, I'm sorry, I was just kidding. Right? Amen. You can't do that. Amen. You, you can't even do right or good. If it offends somebody, you got to accommodate, change, switch up to be a peacemaker. Yes. Amen. It's almost impossible to never offend anybody ever. Whenever you do, you have to adjust. Amen. That's what being a peacemaker is all about. Amen. We, it, it, you can't be a saint with this too bad deal with it attitude. Amen. And believe me, the devil's right there to try to give us that too bad, so sad, don't care if you get glad attitude. Amen. It's right there for every single one of us. But we got to resist that old devil. As long as, as long as you, if you offend somebody, and as long as you see their offense and do your best to fix it, 
that you're still on the right path. But you can't be intentionally trying to offend people. And I'm not talking about trying, trying not to offend a false prophet. Because when you get out there, you know good and well every, what you're going to say is going to offend them. You know it's going to happen. But we're talking about brothers and sisters or, or people just in your daily life and stuff like that. Even whenever we're debating false prophets, it's not like we're intentionally trying to hurt them with the truth. We're trying to give them the truth, but we know that a spirit has set things up in their lives to where they're going to fight the truth. And we already know it when we're going in. Amen. So you got to go in with a certain level of strength and a certain level of offense. That's why they call that offense in football. They're offending the defending team. With every move they make, they offend. <laughs> right? Because they're trying to gain ground, trying to get that ball to, the, to, to make a touchdown, right? Amen? Amen. Amen. Same thing when you're trying to prove your point. Yeah, offense has come. Amen. But among us, we got to learn how to be peacemakers. Amen. Amen. It's not all about, I was right and I said it. Amen. No. It's not, it's not about that. It's like, how can I help? How can I get this truth across? Amen. Is anybody cold? I know one person who is cold right now, for sure, by their body language. Anybody else cold? <laughs> okay. Just checking. I'm trying to follow after Apostle Washington's footsteps. I'm sweating. But it's not about me. It's about the people. That's what Apostle Washington says. It's about the people. Read on. Remove from me the way of lying. Yeah, and my soul me. melteth. I'm sorry, I'm going back. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. It gets so hard for us sometimes. Yes. Ask Prophet Washington. He just wanted to start a trucking company. That's all. He, and he's like, I just would like to use this money to help the work of the ministry is all. Amen. Wreck, wreck, wreckity, wreck, 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 wreck. If every wreck had a different note, it would be a song. Wreck, wreck, wreck. I, Shanae just got in the wreck of my car. Totaled. <coughs> my mama's car, y'all. Wah. Y'all feel sorry for me? I'm a grown man. I, I can't be hung up on that kind of stuff. Hallelujah. I took pictures of the bumblebees and the sunflowers on the, on the, on the front. But, like, but that's not my mom. My mom's already gone. I, I, I'm sentimental, but not that sentimental. Amen. I'm not so sentimental that I'm going to get out of the spirit but for the sake of sentimentality. I'm glad she is all right. Yes. You know, it don't matter if it's her fault or not her fault. Amen. 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 I'm glad she's alive. Yeah. I'm glad she wasn't hurt so bad. I'm glad she's able to make this trip and continue to do the work yeah. of the ministry, Hallelujah. going to Mexico. Yeah. And uh, I'm telling you, the spirit will test you to see if you got your treasure stored up in heaven or or on earth. <laughs> sure enough, he tests. He's going to test you. He's going to test you in ways that your neighbor can't even comprehend because it's a personal thing. Yeah. Amen. It's like, I don't know your whole story. I don't know everything you're going through. I don't know why you feel exactly the way you feel or, or you know, the rights and the wrongs that have occurred in your life. And I'm not even going to waste my time trying because that's Yahweh's job. That's not my job. Amen. We all go through so many things. It's hard to put into words. Amen. But let me tell you something. There's a God who sees every single thing you're going through. Yeah. I may have judged you and thought I had you all figured out at one point in time. Yeah. I may have preached a message, a just in case message. Like, it seems like you're doing this. So I'm going to speak about it because I'm just going to speak about what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. You may have felt like I was preaching on you. Yeah. We're not. We're preaching about what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. If you're doing what's right, keep doing what's right. If you're doing what's wrong, don't stop that. Yes. And start doing what's right. Hallelujah. This is not this is not a house of that kind of judgment. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. This is a house of Yahweh's righteous judgment. It's just going to speak what's right and speak what's wrong. If you're doing what's wrong, you better get right. If it looks like you're doing what's wrong, the Bible says just abstain from all appearance of evil. Stop looking like you're doing wrong, even if you're not. Make adjustments. Endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. We got to do this daily. From day to day. We got to draw closer and closer to one another. We're all we've got, saints. Amen. Maybe it will alleviate a little bit of this heaviness that we all go through. A tight knit community helps people go through things. Amen. Amen. Your soul feels like it's melting. Sometimes the thing you go through. Hallelujah. You, know, you, you may be going through stuff. You don't feel like you can share it. You don't feel like you, anybody would understand. You don't feel, you just don't feel like it would be good to talk about some things. Amen. Yahweh says, talk to me about it. Amen. Cast all your cares to me because I'm going to care for you. Don't worry. I've got this. It may take a day to fix it. It may take a week. It may take a month. It might take a half a year. It may take a year. It may take five years. It might take 10 years. It might take 20 years. It might take 40, 50, 60 years, but I'll fix it. Don't you worry. But, but depending on how long I decide that it's going to take for your problem to get fixed, that's how much patience you need. You just got to trust in that. Right? So it says, my soul melts for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according to Do what to me? Strengthen me. Do what to me? Strengthen me. Give me patience. Strengthen me. According to what? Thy word. Yes, read. Remove from me the way of lying. Remove from me the way of lying. It's getting in the way of my growth. I'm always defending myself Amen. instead of humbling myself. Yes. I know sometimes it gets tough. You're like, am I right or am I wrong? It can be that bad. The devil got you that twisted up. Amen. <laughs> That's the truth. Even after you hear the word, you still go home and you're like, am I right or am I wrong? One second, you're like, I'm wrong. I'm going to change my ways. The next thought is like, well, you really weren't that bad. And then, and then you're like, oh, what do I do? Because you know good and well, you got to wake up tomorrow and you're going to have to do things. Amen. You're going to get yourself back in trouble. You're going to keep yourself out of trouble. Which one are you going to do? What we do matters in church. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you. I've thought I've been wrong when I wasn't wrong. And I've thought I've been right when I wasn't right. Amen. Amen. So what do you do? It's real simple. Keep going. Amen. Keep pressing. Amen. Never find anything is a good enough excuse to give up. Amen. That's it. Endure. Endeavor to keep. Yes. Amen. Keep going. Keep pushing. Amen. Never give up. Hallelujah. Never have anything in your life that you say, I won't give this up. Because that might be the thing Yahweh wants you to give up. It could be your clothes. It could be your speech. It could be your habits. Where you go. How much you drink. It could be any of these things. Don't ever put a limit on what you're willing to give up for the Lord. If it, if it's not wrong, if it offends any of the brothers and sisters, you still have to give it up. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. How, we, how else are we going to keep this good thing that we got going? Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh chose Apostle Washington, brought, brought, uh, uh, brought it to his attention of the changes that needed to be made in the church. And he did it. Amen. Even if the people that loved him started hating him, he did it. Amen. It's because of him I'm able to stand on this pulpit right now. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the only reason why I'm even here. This is the only reason any of y'all have even had an opportunity to even believe in me. Amen. It's because of him yes. and his Amen. sacrifices yes, and his sincerity. Is he God? No, he's not. Is he growing in grace? Yes, he is. Is he greater than me? Yes, he is. Am I going to keep on going in this, this faith? Absolutely. Amen. Is there anything that's going to stop us? No. We're going on to perfection. Because our life is just like a little old vapor. Amen. We're all going to eventually hit the grave. 
It's going to be over. It won't, it won't be too much longer now. Amen. So in the meantime, every single one of us needs to lay down every single weight that we think is so important of why we can't get along with each other, why we can't love each other, why we always got a problem with each other. Throw it on the ground and realize how unimportant it is and how it doesn't matter. We all got different personalities. We all got different characteristics. We all get on one another's nerves sometimes. But we got to realize. You ask yourself this question. Does that brother or sister sometimes get on your nerves? Did you ever think that maybe you get on their nerves too? But you think you're better than them. Because they're hiding how annoying they are. You are to them. Better than you are. I'm telling you, we all are going to have to stand before the judgment seat. We better not sock ourselves out thinking that we be- we're better than we really are. Amen. 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 It's important for us all to humble ourselves and quit thinking we're better than one another. Amen. Drop all of this foolishness and so we can be saved. Because there ain't no hater going to be saved. The proud... We're not, you're not going to be saved. And I'm, I'm done thinking I got y'all figured out. That's Yahweh's job, not mine. I'm not playing those games anymore. It'll mess, mess my judgment up about you. Make me think bad things about you when I shouldn't be. I'm done with all of that. All I'm thinking about y'all is that y'all are just like me. Y'all on the same boat as me. Same road as me. With the same goal in mind as me. Amen. Now, is everybody going to do the right thing? No. But d- just because they're doing wrong, a little wrong right now, d- d- does that have anything to do with uh, what they can end up being? No. Amen. As a leader, we should always be examining ourselves and saying, what role are we playing in the failures of the people? Yeah, our job is to sow hope. That's absolutely right. Yes, sow hope, give people the benefit of our faith. Some people say benefit of the doubt. I changed it. <laughs> <clears throat> Still the same thing. Amen. You know, you're, you're doubting the evil, you know, benefit of the doubt. Maybe they didn't mean bad, you know. Amen. Maybe they just a little twisted up. Amen. Let's help them out. Maybe whenever I'm trying to help somebody else, they end up helping me out. I'm open to that. Amen. 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 To a to in the limit. <laughs> oh yeah, because we'll yeah. we'll say get wrong and stuff, and and we'll we'll, we'll throw some real negative words at other yeah. people, but. And instead, you look at it a little different. You say, just, just going through a weak time. Yeah. They're, just going, they're just a little upset right now. Right. You know what happens? Yeah. Sometimes people fly off the handle. I did that with Apostle Washington uh, last year. Uh, you know, just I was going through so much. He wouldn't have known it if I hadn't admitted it because my phone hung up. And it sounded like I got cut off. Yes, but I'm not wanting to hide anything. Amen. Hallelujah. So I admitted it. I said, yeah, I hung up on you. He thought the phone got cut off. Yeah. Amen. I was really upset about something. He gave me the benefit of faith and doubt. And uh, doing wrong is nothing to be proud of. No, Lord. <laughs> hum- humbling yourself and, and uh, pulling yourself together with Yahweh's help is a good thing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come Amen. On. And 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 that and whenever I humble myself and pull myself together, that didn't mean I had all the answers. I heard exactly what I needed to hear. Everything was straight in my mind. I completely agreed with everything. No, I said I can't lean to my thoughts and my own understanding. I can't wait for me to get the answers from everybody that I feel like I need before I can line up and straighten up. No, I got to line up and straighten up now and let Yahweh handle everything. Yes, that's the truth, man. Uh, hallelujah. I mean, how do you think 
The strong people in the Bible went through all the stuff they went through. You think they went through it with your mindset? Where if you get a flat tire, you flip, faint, and fall out. The smallest thing happens in your life, and it's it's like, it's over. No, Lord. It took quite a bit for Moses to finally hit that rock. And he dish, wasn't supposed to hit it. But it took a lot. It wasn't like he got a flat tire and then he hit the rock. No, he was dealing with the children of Israel. He was going through those plagues. He was dealing with Pharaoh and, and they were they were wanting to the, the children of Israel were like threatening to run off from him, kill him, take over millions of people out in the wilderness. All they had to do was try to form some kind of coup d'etat and they could have taken Moses out. But what did Yahweh do? Yahweh caused the earth to open up and people fall down into the earth. S snakes to break out and, and kill people. That was to stop people from trying to ruin Yahweh's plan. We just got to realize that our little problems are not worth freaking out about. Who do you worship? Yahweh? The one who can solve all your problems? Yes, Lord. Fix Lord. every single thing for you? Amen. He can. Yes, he can. Look at what you always done for Apostle Washington over the years. Amen. He's fixing every single problem. Amen. <clears throat> I'm glad to see Apostle Moses Amen. back in our eyesight. Amen. Amen. He's fixing every single problem for us. He's making it possible to where we can actually go into all the world and preach the gospel to every yes, single creature. Yeah, and Mexico's just the beginning. Yes. If Yahweh continues to tarry from coming back, you know, Yeshua, he can crack the sky at any given moment. Yes. Right? Yes. He can crack the sky and he can return and it's all over. No more soul saving. Everybody pay attention. No more soul saving. It's all over. It's over and done. Now, we don't have to worry about going into all the world and preaching the gospel to every creature after that. But until then, until Yahweh blesses us, I mean, you know, until Yahweh comes, he's going to continue to open up doors and there's going to be souls. It can only be one person in Russia who needs their soul saved. If that was you, would your soul be worth it? Yes, it would. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you mind spending all your money? You shouldn't by this hour. Because look at this. Think about this, saints. Just look at the timeline. Those of y'all that have been here for a while. Okay. I came in in 1997. And every so often, Yahweh would cause something to pop up. To where we would have to give all of our extra money to try to make it happen. We're going to go visit this person in this city. You know, uh, you know, somebody would act like they want to do right. We spend money, start visiting them, spend money. Oh, these, these people, okay, over here, we're going to go do this thing in like Bishop or whatever, like with your dad. I think it was your aunt. And we went there. And then it was this husband and wife. And then it was uh, uh, th this person in California. And then it was, then finally it all, we've been doing this. Yes, Lord. It's nothing new. We've been, uh, Yahweh's been perfecting us in this area all this time. Amen. Then, then we, uh, then Lubbock, we've already been to Lubbock two or three other times before 2016 came about. Yes. We've been traveling. Amen. We've been spending. Yes. Yes. Spend and being spent. Amen. Yeah, we've been doing this. We, we've been traveling, spending all our extra money, spending our savings. Because because we would rather uh, store up treasures in heaven than on earth. Amen. 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 Then we started doing Lubbock and it was all the time traveling. Right. Yeah. Then. Then Mother Connie showed up. Now we're going to, to whatever that city was. Sinton. Yeah, over by Galveston. And then we're doing that. Then Mexico. This ain't stopping. 
It's like that old song, Colors. We never die. We multiply. <laughs> we're not doing less. We're doing more. Amen. There's, we don't have any intention of slowing down. Amen. Whenever we get too old to do it, these young people who have been watching us do it, they're going to do it, and they're going to do it even better. Amen. 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 I see now Apostle Washington is ready to speak. So, are you ready, Apostle? Okay. I got five minutes. Read on. <laughs> Remove from me the way of lying. Yeah. And grant me thy law graciously. See, the law and lying is the exact opposite. If you want to be a person of truth, you need to get the law of Yeshua in you. Amen. He always told the truth. He always did those things that pleased the Father. Amen. And the reason why telling the truth is so important, like I said earlier, is because if you lie, you'll lie to yourself about yourself Amen. first. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. It will completely destroy your growth in Amen. Yeshua Messiah. You'll come and become a hearer with a dull ear. Amen. Being in church becomes a complete and total waste of time because you are a liar Amen. and you started with yourself. Amen. You're always telling yourself, I'm not doing anything wrong. But what did John say? He said, if you say I have no sin, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. And if anybody says I have not sinned. So it's like I got no sin and then I have not sinned. Same thing. But it's just like, you know, just you just keep on. You just keep on insisting. There's nothing wrong with me. The word is saying there's something wrong with everybody. Don't take it personal. If you take it personal, that kills you too. Because you'll be saying the preacher's taking that message out on just me. Amen. Then it becomes personal. And then the devil says, well, that's why you should hate them and leave. Because you see how they're preaching on you? And none of it's true. The Amen. truth is the truth. Amen. We got one message. John said, I only got one thing to bring you. The old word is the new word. The new word is the old word. It's to love one another. How do you love one another? Stop lying. Stop lying to yourself. Hear what Yahweh says. Hear the law of Yeshua Messiah and get the lying out of your mouth. If you'll stop lying about yourself, you'll stop lying to other people. Amen. It always starts with you. Read on. I have chosen the way of truth. Uh huh. Thy judgments have I laid before me. Yes, Lord. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. Uh huh. Oh, Lord, put me not to shame. See, we need Yahweh because, I mean, Lord, look at this big old world. Yes. Bad stuff happened left and right all around us. I need the God who created everything yes. to keep me. Yes. I mean, like you, I, sometimes you can only take so much. <laughs> but but who are we to decide how much is too much? So if we can get to this point, we realize every bad thing that happens to us actually works together for our good. I mean, I don't care what it is. Amen. I think about Yahweh and I think about all that he put up with his people that he created. The children of Israel in particular. And then I think about Yeshua Messiah. And I think about how he didn't do anything wrong and still people hated him and sought to kill him. So if they did that to Yahweh and if they did that to Yahshua, then just because people have a problem with me doesn't mean I'm on the wrong path. You're on the wrong path when you're doing wrong. Cussing, getting drunk, hating people, judging people. Jump into conclusions all the time. Always thinking you're right. Yeah, you're wrong if you got that mindset. But if you don't have that mindset, quit letting the devil mess with you. He just wants to make this race so hard for you that you'll give up. But don't give up, saints. And we, you know, you you've been gone so much, Apostle. Now when you're here, you say we have a special guest. <laughs> The one that started all of this has become our special guest, but we're going to be seeing a lot more of them soon. <laughs> That's blessing, though. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm not going to prolong. Uh, let's all let's all get ready to hear what Apostle Washington has to say tonight. Amen. <clears throat>
prepare our hearts to receive them as the as the words of Yahweh. Amen. 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 Let everybody praise Yahweh. Praise Hallelujah. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hey, we're going to be seated. You, you going to read for me, sir? <laughs> hey, you got to put some power in it. Yes, yeah, Lord. But I, I, I have no respect for personal people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of that young man. Amen. So proud of him. His father and mother are doing something wonderful in this life. You can see it. Hallelujah. 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 Perhaps I have my Timothy here. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Father, the first step but only his father, but his grandfather. Amen. Both grandfathers. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's a blessing to be here with you all tonight. Yes. Good to see everyone. Yes. Uh, in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, of course, we, uh, we all know that I'll be leaving tomorrow. Uh, Shanera and I just keep us in your prayers. Uh, we'll be uh, pulling out. I'll be flying out, I believe, around 1 tomorrow. Amen. So we definitely look forward to making this particular trip. Amen. We're going to a different part of Mexico. Um, so there's some people there that are really interested in what we teach. They've been listening. Amen. So uh, I need to ask you that you all pray for them also. The doors will be open there. Yes, Lord. Some of you may say that means more money. See, you wise than what you think. <laughs> you, you thought spirit ain't wasn't wasn't you. Um, I don't know if y'all heard the message. Um, love it. I kind of touched on how I was kind of disappointed that we didn't raise no funds. Uh, and I thank y'all way for Sister um, Renee. Amen. You know, she called me Sister Smith, right? It is Smith, right? So I've been gone too long. <laughs> Sister Renee and and we talked and I felt her pain and I, and I know that Sister Heart's in a good place. That's right, that's right. Amen. Matter of fact, I know all of your hearts in a good place. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. I will let her know that I thank Yahweh for her. Amen. She always been a, a blessing to this ministry. Yes, sir. She always been a sukran to me. Yes. And sometimes I can be a little harsh. For a good reason, though, man. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. But y'all should know your apostle. I don't mean yes. no harm, right? That's right. Amen. But neither do I want us to forget the word. That's right. That's right. That's right. And look at nothing, not teaching number two. I teach you doing something wonderful. Look at that. Yes, Lord. Growing up. These kids growing up. And I'm not around to see them grow neither. Amen. But it's all right. It's all right. But um, let us not forget the work, though. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know what the Lord his plans in Mexico. Are you man? Yes, man? My spirit has much peace concerning this this particular travel. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 And so, um, saints, I, I, I beg you, don't forget the ministry. Okay. I know that I was Apostle uh, Hurley just touched on a few things a moment ago. I haven't spoken with him, and I was glad to hear his words because um, you're not there, so you you don't get a chance to see what I see, right? right? You don't you don't you don't see what I see, and all the time, and when you're not really involved in a thing, you you can't really. It's hard to react to what you don't see, right? So I'm your eyes. So the Shanera, she your eyes. And the work is great. Um, 
time was very difficult for our brothers and sisters in Pakula yes. earlier this year. How many of y'all seen that video of Shanera that she made concerning the rain? Y'all remember that? Yeah. Yeah. They haven't received rain. Yes, sir. And it just tore my heart up when I went into the saint's house and no food. No rain, no work. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, y'all may see Shanir and I and Jerry at sushi, but you know. Come on. That's like $2. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. They eating good down there. Y'all eating good down here. True. Yes. But that's just sushi. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So I, I want you to understand that the sacrifices that you made the majority is going towards them to help our brothers. Right. Yes. Now, the Church of Jerusalem, a famine hit the Church of Jerusalem. Yes. Right. And they were starving. Yes. God, right. people were starving. Yes. But the Gentile church came together right. and, they, yes. they, and they raised funds. Right. Gave it to Paul and allowed, and, and Paul took that, that offering. Yes. Amen. Yes. That the saint sacrificed and gave to take care of their brother. Right. Amen. Now, one thing about the Holy Spirit, it gives us an opportunity to fulfill Scripture. Amen. 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 And one spirit Scripture come to mind, and these are the words of the Lord that we should always remember the poor. Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Remember the poor. Yes. Amen. Every one of us in here, we rich. Yes. Amen. Compared to them, yeah. they are very, very poor. Amen. And I was so moved that that night, so hot, so moved, and. All I could do is just call on the Lord. Yeah. I just ask the Lord, Lord, please send rain. And it started raining. Yes. Yes. It started raining. Yes. And, and you know what they did? They began to cry. Yes. Began to stand and testify that I know Yahweh is with Apostle Washington. Right. Right. But the thing is, brothers and sisters, I can't do this without you. Right. I can't do it without your help. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to call your attention to the book of um, 2 Corinthians tonight. Hallelujah. But I thank Yahweh for every one of you. Amen. 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 Make sure that love of Yeshua abound more and more in our lives. Hallelujah. And we want to go ahead and look at the, um, I guess the 10th chapter. The ninth chapter of uh, Corinthians tonight. Amen. Second Timothy, the ninth chapter. Second Corinthians, the ninth chapter. Am I? Am I? Did I say that? Did I say something else? I said Timothy. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm tired. My wife, you know, she. The other day, uh, uh, the, a couple of weeks ago, I was preaching, and I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I was getting everybody's name mixed up in the Bible. I'm drained. Yes. Yes, yes, so much. My wife, she, she, was, she, fear came upon her. What's happening to my husband? Yeah. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, sir. Told her I'm gonna be all right. I'm just tired. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. One more time, Second Corinthians, the main chapter. All right, grandson, let's go ahead and read it. Second Corinthians nine and one. Yes. Where he's reading. Uh huh. For us touching the ministry to the saints. Yes. It is superfluous for me to write to you. It is superfluity. Yes. So I should that I should write. You no, know, it's really not un it's unnecessary. Uh, no, we we, we, call, we we no we taught of God. Yes. Right. Yeah. We've been in we're not beginners in this way. We've been in church for a long time. Right. We've seen all sorts of miracles, even amen. among ourselves. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've seen things people, are, amen, only dream. That's they right. only see on TV. That's right. Y'all we have done great things among us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed to even see some of our children grow up. Yes. Amen. And see our children's children That's begin right. to grow in this way. That's right. Amen. amen. That's, amen. A, that's, a, that's truly a blessing. Amen. Amen. And I'm grateful that I'm in this way. Amen. But nothing me more, there's nothing more important to me than to serve the Most High and do His will. Yes. Amen. That is what I live for. Amen. 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 That is my life. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, watch what now watch the scripture read. For I know the forwardness of your for mind. I know the forwardness of your mind. For which I boast of you to them a Macedonian. And I'm always, you know, when I go to Mexico, I let them know. I read I, first thing I let them look. My pastor early, he can bear witness of the of this year. You make this thing possible. I want them to understand that, you know, that groceries I put on your table, they did that. I don't have a job. I remind them that. I would I would just uh boast when y'all when you be out there raising funds. You used to do that for the cop ranch, y'all. I make sure they, they will see it. And they and they it gives them hope when they see you out there with a smile on your face. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm trying to speak Spanish. <laughs> Excited. And you see the look on their face. These people truly do love us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know you all have that love in your in your in your heart. Yes, Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 But I got a work to do in Mexico. Amen. Yes, Lord. Now we're talking about three places. That's right. Right now. Amen. When I go down this time, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in Meridian. How do you pronounce that, Mother Kathy? The Meridian. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's that's my Spanish. I don't know how, much, how long I'm going to be there. Yeah. Amen. I got a one trip, one ticket, straight, one just straight there, and that's in one way. But I don't Amen. know how long I'm going to be there. Amen. But it's going to cost me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't know how long I'm going to be in that hotel. Don't have a vehicle. Uber. Yeah. Uh-huh. Call. Yeah. But I know one thing. As long as the people want to hear the truth. Yes. Amen. 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 As long as they want the truth. Yes. I'm going to see to it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. See, one thing about it. You got to make up in your mind to do what you have to do. That's right. Amen. That's yeah. You know, I thank y'all for such a scenario that she's okay. Yes. Amen. 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 As soon as I heard the bad news, I said, ain't nothing going to stop me from going. I'm That's going right. if I got to go by myself. That's right. That's right. That's what I said. Yes. So you got to have that kind of love that nothing is going to stop you. Amen. I was like, as you have the opportunity to do good, you ought to do it. Amen. 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 Right. As long as you got the opportunity to do it, you should do it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 You know, when Yeshua was sending his disciples out, he told them, don't worry about a purse. That's right. Exactly. But when it, when it time him to die, he said, now you go get one. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to fund you. Right. Nope. Yeah. Amen. You, want, you, you all going to have to labor as I labor That's right. for the poor Amen. and for this ministry. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Watch the word. Read it. For I know the foreignness of you. I know mind. the foreignness of you. For which I boast of you which to them of Macedonia. That's in Mexico. Amen. Mm-hmm. That Achaia was ready a year that ago. That Achaia was ready a year ago. And your zeal had provoked Ready a many. year ago. Amen. See, you should always be thinking. Yeah. Yes. See, you can't say, well, I did enough today. No, you should be thinking about right. next week, too. Right. Possibly, you ought to be thinking about the next time possible why she's going out of town again. Right. Amen. You know, one thing about the spirit, when it's time for you to give you some, uh, some freedom, it'll give it to you. Right. You'll know when I can't go back no more. Right. Amen. Amen. Remember the time, remember the time when saints paid their tithing and offering, we was faithful doing that, faithful yes. raising funds. And yes. the, remember that, some of y'all don't remember this because y'all were kids. Yes. I'm talking about those few that are still in the church. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the spirit said, you keep your income tax check. That's right. That's right. Because the Spirit was pleased with us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Nothing stopped us. Amen. I was sending brothers everywhere. Yes. That's true. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Everywhere. California. Oh, yeah. Africa. Amen. Yes. Canada. Yes. Yes. Just send. Right. Right. 
That's right. But, 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 but back in those days, you know, people had a mind to work, though. Yes. Yes. Amen. People Amen. had a mind to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us worked overtime to make sure we right. take, that, we'll take that overtime money and we put that in the church. Right. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are y'all listening to me? Hallelujah. Watch that. Read the third verse. Come on, read down. Yet have I sent the brethren. Yet have I sent the brethren. Lest our boasting of you should be in vain. My boasting of you shall be what? In vain. Now, we don't want the boasting to be in vain, right? I don't want Pastor Watson to go down there and the people say he ain't got the. They didn't didn't take care of him. Huh? Don't want that, right? No, man. What happened to them? Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Take finance to do this here. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Take sacrifice to do this here. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Can't be a one year thing. Well, right. but I have last year and. You know, I helped six months ago. That's right. See, my generation, we grew, we didn't think like that. Amen. Yeah, you man, we didn't think like that. Amen. Uh, yeah, I labeled towards the ministry. Hallelujah. We didn't think like that. Well, I sacrificed this year. Well, uh, that's enough. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine uh, those that. Uh, Use myself and my wife for an example. Amen. I was Amen. telling the saints of love. I said, you don't you know what she did? My wife took her, her birthday machine. I said she'd been doing it since she'd been in church. Yeah. When she showed like money. Yeah, she do. Uh-huh. Well, she always giving away. She always helping people that is poor. Right. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. She been doing that. Yes. Yeah. When you got the right spirit, you love this ministry the way you, 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 the way you should love it. Amen. You know this is your life. Yes. Right. That's right. We, we keep on giving. We ain't gonna have nothing. We don't ask you to give everything. No. That's Pastor Hurley. He put his whole check in the church. Right. Right. Answers a bib. She a witness. I told him give, give him back his money. Right. She in the back of the office dancing. You know, Ray Ray, they were rejoicing. I had to, I'm looking, why are they rejoicing like that? I ain't never seen them cut no dance like that. And she said, Pastor Hurley put his whole check in the church. Back then, it was Brother Hurley. Yes. New coming his way. Yeah. Right. Loving what he's hearing. Amen. Loving what he's seeing. Yes. I said, go tell the brother come here. Yes, Give him Amen. back a check. God don't want all you got. No. Amen. You know, amen. Yes, you yes. never want us to give out of necessity. Right. Never. Amen. 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 But next flex is not necessity. That's right. No. Hulu, Hulu, or Hulu neither. That's right. Cable TV neither. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. All that stuff is not necessity. Amen. No. Amen. Membership at the gym. That's not uh, on necessity. No, no. Just stay at the kitchen. You lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Go walking. It works. Yeah. I'm just saying all those things are not necessary. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you ain't been doing what you're supposed to do, if, if everyone have, you know, you're your own judge. You know, yeah. right. I'm not here to judge and condemn nobody. Amen. But I'm talking about, yeah, when we're robbing y'all That's way. Right. Yeah. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's one reason why we closing the church in love. Yes, we ain't yes. got enough people there to pay their tithes and all. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 So I see well, I can take that two thousand dollars a month and use that in Mexico. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Got only a few people paying their tithes and all. There's no need <laughs> to keep that building. So. Right. Because the saints, all right, let's let's go to go to all of them. We can be in one place. Yeah. That's yeah. money that we can save. Yeah. Since we're not on the corner raising money anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But ain't that gonna stop me from going to Mexico? Amen. Amen. The only way I'm gonna stop the spirit is that don't go back. 
That's the only way, that's the only, that's the only, that's the only thing gonna cause me to stop till then. I'm, yes. I'm a man of faith. Hallelujah. I walk by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I wanna and I wanna continue to boast of you. Yes. And one thing about the spirit, it always running ahead. Yes. So that you stay ahead. That's right. Amen. Amen. So those in the, in Mexico when they see us, they they, they you know they they, they they will continue to have the praise of Yahweh in their mouth. Yes. Them people in Arlington, them saints in, in Texas, they truly do love us. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch the word read it. Lest our boasting of you should Lest be in vain. Lest our boasting of you behalf. shall be in vain. That as I said, you may be ready. That I said to, as you, as evidently, uh, Paul seen something in them. Uh, yes. Amen. And he's just trying to stir them up. Because right. it's important that we should always be ready. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Always be ready. Yes, Amen. 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 You, they got vacation time. Amen. Talk to them. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I say yes, but I don't. I say no. Amen. But talk. Amen. What did the church do for me and my wife on Third Street? Why y'all said it's on a cruise? Because we always use our vacation for the ministry. Always use our vacation for the ministry. I've been doing that since I was 20 years old. When I first come to church, we even with your dad. We all we always use our vacation towards the ministry. Always did. Yes. I promised my kids, if I ask Richie, I'll tell you, we're going to Disney World. Huh? Amen. I waited too long, so she took us in. (laughs) 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 My wife said, you keep on telling me you're going to take me to Papa Do's. I said, man, we'll we'll, we'll go when I come back. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. It's hard for me to make time. Amen. I'm getting old, eh? Young like I used to be. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Brother and sister, whether you're old or young, it don't matter. We should always be ready. Amen. Every time you hear that Pastor Washington going to Mexico, you should think on that. Yes, ma'am. Amen. You should always think on. Yes, yes, What can I do to help him go to, to support that? Amen. I thought we were doing a one hundred dollar raid march, but some of y'all can do better than that. That's right. yes. That's you got some to do better than that, but they gonna just do that. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Others gonna really have to sacrifice to come yes. up with that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Man. I don't know about the rest of you, but I, I can't, I can't do enough. Amen. Amen. Can't do enough. Amen. Mm-hmm. Come on. Amen. Let's happily, if they of Macedonia, yes, come with me, come with me, and find you unprepared. And they find you unprepared. We that we say not, yes, we, you should be ashamed in the same confident boasting. We should be what? Ashamed. What? 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 You should be ashamed. No, don't have them. One person have, or two or three people have a. You know, they 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 think on as many as you don't. You ought to be ashamed. You're saying. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes, yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. You ought to be ashamed. You said. Yes, sir. It's yes, not. Sir. You know, that's what we have to talk about, sister. Sister Becky, quite a bit. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. She never give, ever give me a what you call it a, a great amount, right? Yes. But it's like the widow. See, yes. I know that. Yes. Yes. See, yes. I look at people fruits. Amen. Amen. It's not so much how much I look at the fruits. Yes. Yes. That's what I. That's that's the only thing I can go by fruit. Amen. 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 That's right. Hmm? Amen. Amen. That's the reason why Yeshua spoke about that that widow. Yeah. All she did, all she put in there, just a penny. Say a penny. Yeah. yeah. But Yeshua yeah. said that woman did more than all the rest. That's right. That's right. Yes, Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. See, you want the spirit to slow you down. We have to slow him down. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yellow Bush yeah. had to slow me down. Amen. 
Right. Amen. Sounds so well. Yes, Lord. You can't be giving your rent money to the church. Right. Talking about having faith. Can't be giving you a car paper. We left. We lost our car. They can't pick up the carry. We're going to make a sacrifice. They came. And, and, and I, as I wouldn't lock some of you, you know, think about going hiding it somewhere. <laughs> I'll go make a sign some faith. <laughs> well, I woke up to that next morning. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you're, when you're a rookie in here, you just, you just ain't nothing going to get in your way. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. But, but I've learned over the years. I learned. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know what? Y'all always love me, folks. Yes. But you know, y'all always still bless us to get our car back. We still got it back. Amen. Yeah, because yeah, y'all always love a cheerful giver. Yes. Oh, that cheerful. Amen. I'm getting tired of them. Uh, they want everything we got. We never ask everything you got. Quit saying that. Amen. That's the truth. You quit saying that. Yes. Amen. That's never been said. Never been you, you said that. Not one time. No, no one time. We'll, we'll let you preach sometime. Maybe no. you should. <laughs> a prophet? Not at all. A pastor? No, never. We ain't never said that. Riri, no. you tell them folks that. <laughs> never, never. No. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. the truth. We don't seek yours. We right. seek you. Not, not yours. We see. I don't want you. you no, know, proper stuff. got the, you know, y'all to hear me say that I got the smallest house as a bishop. I don't say that if he can give up his big house. You see, you see, that's his sacrifice. Yeah. See, it, I want him to have that big house because his house is for all of us. Right. I mean, what all of y'all gonna do with my little old bit of thing? So he, him, and his wife, they open up. What they got is Yahweh. Yeah. 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 Pastor Early, reread. Amen. Amen. I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't preach that mess, but they can feel bad if they can give it up and find a trailer. No. <laughs> no. Amen. 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 Our sacrifice is just different. That's all. Amen. When they say they're home, it's, it's, the, it's the Lord. They, they prove it every time. Yes. Amen. 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 They, they, they works shine bright in that area than mine. What am I going to do that little bit of thing of mine? What happened when my family come over there? We're crawling over each other. And that's just my family. Back up. Don't got one, one restroom. Two doors lead over into it, but only one person get in there. They sacrifice different, though. Amen. Y'all hear me talking, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Yes, Yahweh. And I'm glad because I know that, amen, when they, when they, when they, uh, when someone that's in need, they're going to open up as they always have done. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Desi, open up. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, read. Therefore, I thought it necessary to yes. exhort the brethren yes. that they would go before that unto they you. should go before unto you. And make up beforehand your vows. Make up. Make up. Make up. Yeah. We didn't do that fundraising. Make up. Amen. Come on, say make up, church. Make, make up. up. Ain't somebody said you put on that blush, you put on your face. No. I mean, make up. Make up. Make up. <laughs> Don't go on put some blush on lipstick. No, come on. We want you to make up. Make it up. Yeah. Make up. Got to make it up. Yes, man. Hallelujah. This trip is like expensive than any other trip I've ever been on. Yes, sir. It's a lot expensive. Yes. yes. And it's going to get more and more. I don't know what y'all are going to do. Amen. Question is what you going to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing. Put my trust in them. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Amen. Oh, my, my wife had, uh, we had mentioned the saints and love it. All right, we didn't hold church Sunday. We didn't hold church Tuesday. Uh, we didn't hold church Thursday. Right, right. So when y'all when we come Tuesday, y'all make sure y'all bring those uh, offering yeah. right. on that day. If yeah. we don't tell saints that, right. 
they won't do it. Some won't do it. But those that are always thinking about the Lord, because they miss church, they put their arm to the side. Yes, to the side. They're not going to rob y'all away. They're going to put it to the side. Amen. Amen. Go on vacation for two weeks. You still going to put your offer to the side. The ministry still go on. Right. Amen. You put it to the side. Amen. My wife and I, we put our offer to the side. Amen. Amen. So we came in that Tuesday night. Right. Right. We had Sunday offering. Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday offering. Amen. Amen. We let y'all stay home to eat y'all turkey. Uh, that's right. Amen. Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, Tuesday, what did you do? What did you bring? Right. Oh, uh-uh. you spit it on that cranberry sauce dish. Yeah. <laughs> you spit right. it on that cranberry sauce. Yeah. No, 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 that, that pecan pie. Because yeah, right. you got to have your pecan pie, your pumpkin pie, your lemon meringue pie, yeah, yeah. your cheesecake, uh-uh. and your German chocolate cake. All right. <laughs> Is that quiet I got in here? Amen. And y'all was good to you. Let you stay home and spend some time with your family. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. How many of you amen showed up Tuesday night with that with that Thursday off and then that Sunday morning off? Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is what Paul was talking about. Make up. Make up. That's right. Amen. Because mm. the, the, the Lord asked a question Will a man rob God? I'll say, Yeah, you have. Tithing it off. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Y'all getting this here? Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Yahweh. Watch the word. Come on. And make up beforehand your bounty. Yes. Whereof ye had noticed before. Yes. That the same might be ready. Uh huh. As a matter of bounty. Yes. And not as of covetousness. What, what, what? Not as covetousness. Amen. We're talking about bounty. Yeah, we want more. We want you to give y'all what what we need to do this work. Yes. But if covetousness, if it spills in you, you can tell you have covetousness. Amen. You're always talking about what you eat. Hey, man, we we doing too much. Right. We come coming like them fall churches. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, no, the, the false prophet keep that money. Amen. That's the truth. I don't keep the money. I don't even know what we have. I don't know. I, I don't think prophet. I don't think. I don't think no bishop here know what we have in it. In maybe one, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Going to my pocket. I'm in my boat. I'm getting that boat. Y'all hear me talk about that boat. I don't know, brother. I don't know what we have in in the, in the camp. I don't know because I'm not a money preacher. Yes, Lord. So how are we becoming like these fall churches? Fall churches. They know what they got coming oh, yeah. in. There. Ain't no good when they tell me let's run it off. But if I tell you let's run it off because it's, it's, it's real, it's true. It's not going in my pockets because of the work that needs to be done. Amen. Y'all shouldn't know Apostle Washington by now. I've been like this for years. I don't touch the funds. Ask Mother Kathy, she'll tell you. Ask Ray Ray, she'll Right. Ray Ray, you sure you ain't sneaking me 10? Uh, uh, a thousand every week when nobody ain't looking, and then Prophet Stanley he get his he get his thousand too, and then none of that goes on. I'm not a lover of money. I stopped loving money once I was born again. Amen. Yeah, when I say when we say it's for the work of the ministry, it's for the work of the ministry. Amen. How many of y'all have been to Bakula? Oh, yes. So you've been there? Yes. That's not a place for a vacation then, right? No. No, no Did y'all see any five-star restaurant? No. What about that? Did y'all sleep in that five-star hotel? No. 
hole. But you slept in the hole, damn. We did. And you did eat, a, eat at a restaurant, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you're going, you going over there towards Cancun this time. <laughs> I'm not going to Cancun. I'm not going to the beach. I'm passing by Cancun. I'm going to a little small village, some, some small villages. We're going to be going to among some Mayan people who speak Mayan, who want to know more about Yahweh. Can you imagine that? And they all short, just like Moses. Y'all remember my brother Carlos? Y'all remember uh, Carlos, Mr. Carlos? Yes. On, on Third Street? Yes. It's how short he is. Sure. He's Mayan. Yes, he is. Yes, sure. He speaks Mayan. Yeah. So we're going to be visiting a, a quite a few people, different people. Yeah, the gospel man. being preached. Amen. And you making it happen. Yes, bro. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Lord said, take it into all the world. That's what we've been trying to do here. That's what I've been trying to do. If I had the money, I'd tell y'all, just keep your money. I'd do it myself. Watch the word. I got 30 minutes to read. But this I say, yes. He which soweth sparingly. He that soweth what? Sparingly. He that soweth what? Sparingly. What did that mean? Say it again, Apostle. See, you're being tight. Y'all yeah, hear me now? Yes. Yeah, not, because I know how we think. Right. Amen. I've seen people that they, they, they make a sacrifice and they do it one time and that's it. Right. It's all right if I was going there one time. Yes. Man, but man. I'm not going there one time. Man. Father, can you slow down? You're going too much. All I'm doing, just messing with your your next flex money. That's all. Uh, uh, your your your, your uh, uh, main event money. Right. That's all. That's it. Your, your play, that's all I'm thinking I'm missing with. You can't buy a Folgers no more, no more than you got to buy that cheap coffee. <laughs> you got to buy that cheap coffee now. Amen. That's the only thing the spirit is messing with. That's it. It's not right. messing with your food on your table. No. Amen. 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 I, I want us to remember the ministry as long as Yahweh see fit. Amen. And I can go there. I want you to always think about it. Amen. That's all you ask. That's all I'm asking. To think about it. Amen. You, can, you can't give enough. Right. Can't do enough. Amen. If you feel like you've done enough, then you're too high minded. Amen. Yes. That's right. Because there's no person in their right mind who concentrate themselves to the Lord Will ever feel they done nothing. No. No. Impossible. No. Impossible. Right. Impossible. Amen. Right. It's just impossible. Yes. Amen. Amen. So true. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, I'll show you where you my treasure is truly there. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah, people buy me a car. I, I do what you're doing. Well, you got to do what I do. Do what I do, then I buy you one. Exactly. People, those that stepped up, reached them to get that person in their car, they know what kind of cycle. Right. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Man. Man. What, what make you think you're supposed to get it? Right, right. right. Amen. 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 It's not that we could have never owned no car. No. Amen. Amen. I'm not no lazy man. No. I'm a hard working man. But the ministry always came first. Yes. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Something going to die, either your natural man or your inner man. Yes, Lord. But one will die day by day. Yes, Amen. Lord. That's right. And the more your, your, your natural man die, the world dies with it. Amen. The curse of the world dies with it. Amen. Amen. You get rich in the spirit. And you learn to be content with such things you have. You never complain about what you don't have. Right. You're content with such thing that you have. Yes. Yes. My wife, we're already looking for a place down here. And was, we, we believe that we found one in DeSoto. Right. Okay. Amen. It's not all fancy and everything. No. You don't have my fireplace. Y'all know I like burning wood. Sure. It's good to see you, love. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Oh, you know, you know, I was talking to you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Hey, man, be strong. Y'all both be strong. Yes, Lord. Look what y'all did for y'all. He just, just made a way for you. Yeah. That's right. Brought y'all here, made a way for you. Yes. Y'all love one another. That's right. Amen. Important. We got a work to do. Got work to do. Y'all, 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 one of the days you had to travel, tra- travel with me to Mexico. Yeah. You speak Spanish, right? Yes. Let me say, let me hear you say something. Say, 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 say. say. You say what? They were about looking at you. No, they not. Yeah, <laughs> but you do speak Spanish, though, right? Good, good Spanish. Okay, well, hey, man. And you don't even have a job. Oh, 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 oh. You like traveling? Yeah, you got your passport. You can't need to get your passport. You got your little. Y'all both gonna get your passport. I got another helper right there, Amen. and you speak Spanish. Amen. <sighs> Everything coming together. <laughs> Would you mind traveling with Pastor Washington to Mexico? Oh, 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 okay. oh. oh. You gonna make Shanera shout? <laughs> Be a blessing. Got all about you, love. Amen. Okay, come on, let's get through. I got twenty minutes here. He was so sparingly. Y'all hear the Bible talking? What did it say then? If you hear it, what's going to happen? Why you think uh, Paul? I'm almost saying Pablo. Why you think Paul is saying what he's saying here? Why did Apostle Paul take time out to speak on this? Amen. People wasn't given like they should. Yes. They lost focus. Right. See, Paul ready to go. Yes. He's he just ready to go. He, he's going. Yes, sir. He's, I got to deal with this, though. Amen. Amen. Because I'm not going to stop. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to stop. Amen. Amen. But if you so sparingly, you can also reach back. Because what Yahweh does, he search our heart. To see where our heart's at. That's right. That's right. That's why I thank Yahweh for my wife. I mean, y'all heard her testimony. She said she'd rather die before she hindered this ministry. That's right. Before she hindered me from doing what Yahweh put upon my heart to do. Amen. That Yahweh honors that. Amen. That's what he loves. When we get to Amen, deny ourselves. He loves judgment. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Come on, read now. And he which soweth bountifully, he that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Shall reap also bound. Do you believe this? Yes. Amen. Do you believe? It? Yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. And Paul, uh, he's not calling nobody name out. No. But he, Amen. But he's speaking y'all way where his faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, read. Every man according as he purposes. Every man, listen to it. In his heart. Y'all listen to me tonight. Yes. I'm gone tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Every man. Nobody should be left out. Yes. I'm glad I'm a woman. We're talking about mankind. Yes. Every man. Yes. Come on, say it with me. Yes. Every man. Come on, say it one more time. Every man. 
This is what every one of us should be doing. Every one of us should be doing this here. Huh? We're not getting ready to go back two months from now or three months. Every one of us should be doing this. How many times we got to do it? Every time I go there. Yes. Every time I go. Can I get an amen? Amen. Come on, let uh, Mexico hear y'all say it. Amen. Every man. Every mm-hmm. man. According as he purposes. According in his as he has purpose in his heart. No one gonna be your judge. No. You judge yourself and be honest with yourself what you can do. It's going to hurt me. That's why it's called a sacrifice. Don't you know if everybody did that, we wouldn't need a hundred dollar march. That's right. We just wouldn't do it. It should be on your mind when the boss of watch going back again, okay? Then you start, you start, you know, when I would, you know, when I, it, uh, when I was on the other Bush ministry, one thing about I have to say about the apostolic churches. Yes. They raise funds. Yes. I went to Florida under Bishop Patterson, and they'd sit there and raise that night $45,000. Half of the people which you got them we have here. 45000 But of course, a lot of them got really good jobs. Yes. $45,000. And they took their check out, books out, and they wrote it. Am I right about this, Sister Watson? Who was what woman? Am I right about that, Reese? Would you go there? You want you that too? Hey, yeah. I would write one, but I left my purse at home. Right. Yeah. Right. Is that quiet? Yes. Yeah. Fall churches. Yes. Right. That's the truth. They talking about they, they talking about uh warriors. Yeah. Prayer warriors. Right. Yes. Fifty dollar hero. Yes. Right. Five hundred dollar Wonder Woman's in the church. Thousand dollar Superman. But well, we ain't got all those fancy words. <laughs> best word we got is the Lord love a cheer forgiver. That's a, that's the best we can do. But I'm saying, I'm saying, um, I ha- and I have to speak like Pastor Paul. You will understand if you were with me. Yes, sir. Yes. To you, when you, if you, if you can see with your eyes, yes. then you will understand. Amen. But you're not there. Yes, Therefore, you have to trust me when I say these things. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Yes. You still be able to do all the things you've been wanting to do. Yes. Maybe yes. not as much, but you still be able to do all those things. That's right. right. Yes. Right. Still go to your same restaurants you be you wanted to go to. Right. Maybe yes. not as much, but you still be able to do all. Right. Amen. Amen. All y'all we want us to do, and I pray that everyone doesn't hear what I'm saying tonight. Yes, sir. The work is not going to stop. Right. It's just not going to stop. Yeah. I'm going to keep going. That's right. But all of us should think about it, though. When Pastor Washington going back again, Amen. I was saying in Dallas, what I would do, I just work it because I work some overtime. Yeah. Amen. I just work overtime. Me and brother, we'll do that, and we'll give that overtime to the church. Amen. Amen. Bush had what he needed. I got a kill. He had a he had a Cadillac. But thank y'all, I got a kill. Amen. 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 We made sure that he had what he had. Yes. To do what he needed to do. Amen. 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 We didn't try to get out of the uh, of the fundraising. Right. Hmm? Amen. 
Hallelujah. It kicked us off the corner. You try another city. Amen. Without Amen. vision. Yes. Without vision. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm just saying. Yes. Yes. We don't know how to do that. If we just think on this. Amen. If you just think on this, you'd be surprised. All oh, this 21 and 26, all oh, that's not necessarily. Right. Amen. All that stuff go away. Yes, sir. You just think on it. Amen. 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 We had sisters collecting cans. Right. I mean, everybody yes. did what they had to do. Yes. Am I right, Mother Washington, Dallas? Everybody did. I, I, I come to the church and I saw what everybody was doing. I would just join right in. Amen. But everybody was making some kind of sacrifice. Because we believed in L.A.V. Bush, Hallelujah. the man of God. Yes, Lord. We knew he had something that other people just didn't have. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. All I'm asking you all, just examine yourself tonight. Let this be a, a new day for us all. Amen. Just think on this right here. Yes. Read it again, uh, son. Read it one more time. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. My grand, my grandboy read him with a smile on his face. Look at that. I like that. Yeah, he's a good reader. Yes, Lord. That's a good smile, too. That's a good smile. Like, 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 like your mom. Yeah, I don't see your daddy at all. <laughs> That's okay. I see you in the other ones. I just see Rachel in, uh, in him. Read that one. Look, look at me, y'all. Watch, watch. Read, read one time. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly also shall reap also sparingly. Amen. And he which soweth bountifully uh -huh. shall also reap also bountifully. Read it. Every man according to Every as man he purposes. According to what? As he purposes. As he has purpose. Yes. In his heart. In his what? In his heart. heart. That's why it got to come from the heart. Yes, he does. Yes. It's got to come from the heart. Yes. Not, not lust, from the heart. Yes. Man of God, get ready to make another trip. Let's see what we can do here. Yes. yes. Got to come from the heart. Yes. Because if it comes from the heart, amen, you'll make whatever sacrifice you have to make. Right. Yeah. Some of y'all got to work some a couple hours early. Yeah. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. You can do that. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Yeah, you got your hand up, Rachel. You just said hallelujah. Okay. Because I don't want to come back to this message again. Amen. Amen. Shouldn't have to. Yes, right. Every man. According to the purpose of his heart. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. So let him give. So let him. Amen. So if you do it, yes. you won't feel like we're pressuring you. Right. We're asking too much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, the truth. Wouldn't even need it. That's the truth. No. Amen. Wouldn't need it. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. He wanted to work overtime. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just don't want to work at all. That's your problem. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm just, just giving you something. Just trying to show you right. some right. ways yeah. that you can, yeah. how you can participate. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. Thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box. Yes. Right. Amen. Hmm. Yes. So let him give. Mm hmm. Not grudgingly. Not grudgingly. Or of necessity. I neither. See, not necessity. No. There's some things you need. You just got to have. Right. right. Okay. We don't want you to, no, uh, uh, Luke, I don't want you to give your rent money because then we have to give it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the purpose of sacrifice of giving us your rent money, the next month you come to church, thanks. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> right? No, that's what we're talking about. No. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I get there, I got five minutes to skip through. Come on, read it, son. For God loveth the true forgiver. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh is able to make all grace abound towards you. See, yeah, all, now sometime. I don't think y'all heard that. It didn't say sometime. All grace. If you thinking about Yahweh's goodness, then you will prepare yourself for it. You will never come, amen, empty-handed. Because it said always. 
It said always. Not sometime. Always. You always make your way to 7-Eleven. Get that big up, don't you? Yeah. We can go in your pantry right now. We'll find them honey buns. Always find them. Boy, to put them in there. I want y'all to read that with me. Come on, let's read that again. Everybody read it again. Read that. Let's read it. And Yahweh is able to make all grace abound towards you. Always. Always. Simply. Simply. Always. Always. So y'all, that, I guarantee some of y'all Bible is not marked, is it? It's not marked with the yellow highlight. Don't you don't you think you ought to circle that verse too? So you always remember. Yes, sir. Come on now. Always. 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 Got enough grace. Just gotta think on it. Promise you'll find a way. Amen. You know what? I heard these same messages many years ago. You know what it did? It opened my eyes. My wife and I, we have always participated. Remember, as you tell you, they're cooking things in the back. Hallelujah. It is $5.95. My wife and I, we just don't stop at no $5.95. Right? Amen. Then you know what Carrie would do? She'll look at whoever cooked the food, look at their face. Their face, you know, seemed like it's torn up. They're disappointed because Saints didn't participate. Right. My wife should go buy the whole thing. Yes. 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 Amen. That's something we have always done. Yes. Uh, That's right. That's right. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie always, always thinking on everybody, don't she? Yes. Always. Always. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Always. I tell you, Dan, she pick you up. <laughs> and Rachel just like, Dad, leave me alone. Dad. Because I'm always meddling. Always. See, see, see that? See that? See that? Is that what they say? See that? See that? Is that you hear him talking about something? They throwing off on your grandpa. So next time you read that verse, put some emphasis on it, okay? No. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Always. Always. Oh, not sometime. Always. So you, that's sometime. Are you justified? No. no. Of course not. No. no. You're not. Amen. 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 <laughs> uh, the grace of Yahweh that is given to you, you're using it wrong. You got to be using it wrong. Amen. Maybe you got too much. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know that woman, all she had a penny, but you know what? She had it. Amen. But she had it. Yes. That's right. And the Lord said she gave all that she had. Yes. All that she had. Amen. Amen. Now, now, are you mad? Amen. Amen. Now, now, when you hear that, I ain't tell you come give all your money. No, I'm not. Because we're gonna just give it right back to you. That's right. I'm not tell you go to your go to your checking account and just draw everything out. No, I'm not asking you to do none of that. I'm just saying that always remember this this, this ministry. Amen. That's what I'm saying. Amen. Yes, hmm? sir. Come on, come over, sir. That you. Always having all sufficiency in all things. All sufficiency. Uh -huh. All sufficiency. Uh -huh. In all things. Come on. Say May all. Abound to every good Come on, say all with me. All, all things. All things. All things. Well, not like how Amiga said that. that was, she said it was virtue. All things. All, all things. things. Ooh, y'all, we're going to bless you too. Yes. Oh, because you remember his word. You have faith. You're mixing faith with what you heard. That's Lord, right. help me to do better. Thank you, y'all, for bringing this to my attention. Amen. 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 Amen
because I do want to please you. And watch what he do for you. You'll see. Because you have that faith. Pablo, <laughs> Paul is not leaving the poor people out of this mess. No. You know what I just said? He's not leaving the poor people out of this mess. No. No. Right? Come on, Bristol. We got it here. Come on, son. As it is written, yes, he had dispersed abroad. Yes, he had given to the poor. Yes, his righteousness remained. He had given forever. to the poor, so you can't say that I can't abound. Yes, you can, yes, because he had given to the poor. That's right. Uh huh. Now he that ministered yes. seed to the sower. Yes, both minister bread for your food. Yes, and multiply your seed to sown. Yes, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Yes, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness. All things to abound in what? Oh, no. mm-hmm. Read. Which cause it through us thanksgiving to Yahweh. Cause us, cause others to give thanksgiving to you because of you. That's right. The so saints of Mexico thank Yahweh for you. Yes. Because I always remind them, you are the one that sends me there. Yes. You are the one that allowed me to put bread on their table when they got nothing to eat. That's right. Amen. Amen. You are the one that allowed me to go down to their store. And buy a fan when the house is 100 degrees inside yes. so the family can cool down. Yes. Right? Amen. You did that. Amen. You make that. You make this happen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Shanara, my witness, she'll, she'll tell you. Yes, Amen. I always let them know you make this possible. Yes, y'all love the ministry? Yes, Lord. Will y'all, Will y'all pray for me? Yes, Lord. Yes. Y'all keep us in prayer. Always. Hallelujah. Yes. I, uh, I'm excited to come back and be with you all here. Lord's willing by June. I think we all should be back by then. Amen. Amen. Uh, you to be strong for them. Amen. Amen. You invite them over to your house. Make sure your words are seasoned with salt. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank y'all wait for the words to give to us tonight. Let's take what's been said. <laughs> Serve the hands of Brother Willie receiving by saying praise y'all. Praise y'all. Praise y'all, saints. Praise y'all. Let's remember the words that were spoken tonight. Let's remember to give wholeheartedly. And remember the ministry. It's got to go forward. It's got to go throughout the whole world. And he needs us, saints, so let's remember that, okay?